Ladies and gentlemen, what up, mine? Welcome back to another episode of I Hate the Homies, man. Episode number 74, Rock Teasy is who I be. Man, what's cracking is your boy Griff, the first homie out here in South Africa again for my 32nd time in 74, Merlin Olsen. 14 straight Pro Bowls, member of that 1960s and 70s all-decade team, and part of the fearsome foursome with the Rams. Daddy. And I hate the homies. <laughs> and this is your boy Super Dave. You just pissed me off. Starting off the whole this whole damn podcast pissing me off. Merlin Olsen is fine, but the great Bob Lilly, you're not putting on the list. Bob Lilly is the greatest 74 of all time, sir. Bob Lilly. Bob Lilly got more. Bob Lilly got 14 straight Pro Bowls. Pull that up. I'm just saying. I, don't okay. think, I know who he is. I know he ain't got 14 straight is. Pro Bowls. You may got a point there. I'm just saying, that's a big deal. <laughs> 14 in a row, <laughs> nobody was better than you but see, for almost two decades. Stop it. Yeah, but more people will probably know. When you think of 74, more people will probably know that's because you're black, and Merlin Olsen is a white man. Yeah, I actually Bob side Lillis. with white people sometimes. No, Bob Lilly's white. white. Bob Lilly's white, dog. What's his name? Bob, his name Bob Lilly. Again? Bob Lilly, oh, man. God, Come on, man. cowboy great. I don't see. A little, uh, 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 I'm not going to soft meat ride the Cowboys every podcast, dog. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. Well, just because I, your I, team sucks. I did sucks. not know about the Cowboys in the 50s and the 60s and the 70s, dog. Don't nobody care about them like that. Grow up. That was the doomsday defense in the 70s, bro. And don't nobody give a damn never about the Raiders. Raider Nation. <laughs> exactly. Never... Y'all ain't done a damn thing in how many years? Longer never than heard us. of them. <laughs> Who plays in the NFC? Atlanta. You... You never heard of doomsday defense by the Cowboys? Man, of course I have. I'm just telling you, my focus in my life has never been on a Dallas Cowboys, dog. What and was, I'm 52. What was the nickname? Y'all from Texas, so you got to nah, well, meet that. ride right, these boys every – but I don't have to. What is this meat right? right? I'm, I'm, I'm a Detroiter, sir, by way of Texas. Or nah, Texan by way of Texan Detroit. Now, yeah, I've you been are, in Texas most of my life. He was all pro Texas, seven dog. times. He selected to play in 11 <laughs> Pro Bowl games. He was also drafted in the second round. That's many fine. as Merlin Olsen. And Merlin Olsen, See, I give, I'm, I'm going to give you one thing. Merlin Olsen, what was the TV show he played on? Uh, uh, somebody Heaven. Uh, <laughs> yes, not Highway to Heaven. heaven. It wasn't uh, Highway to Heaven? No, no, no. I know what you're talking about. Hold on, hold on. Let me, <laughs> let me put it because that's going to make me crazy. You're right. I forgot. I forgot Merlin Olsen TV. He was on Little House of the Prairie. Dude, that's, what <laughs> that's what he was. That's what he was. Little House on the Prairie. Go ahead, Merlin. He was on Little House on the Prairie with the dude from Highway to Heaven. Okay, well, this is your boy, Super Dave. And guess what, y'all? We, we don't, don't care. care. But some people care about what's going on with the homie Dwight Howard. And uh, we're going to shock and surprise <laughs> Griff because he's been off the grid for a while. He has no clue. What happened with Dwight Howard? It's a damn shame. He got a phone, right? <laughs> Stay tuned, dog, because I want to hear his honest opinion, his thoughts, and <laughs> all this technology we got, and he don't know about this story. So, dog, we, I brought my fire stick with me. I watched the baseball game last night in South Africa at 3.30 in the morning. I watched the Lakers lose to Denver. I've been watching everything. I have no idea what y'all talk about. All right, we're going to get into that. We're going to also talk, get, of course, we got college football recap, games that's coming up this week. And then, of course, we're going to go over the NFL matchups and uh, see how we did with our picks and do our picks for this week as well. And while we at it, Michael Irvin calls out his son for trying to be a faker. You know what I'm saying? And I'm I'm riding with Michael all day long on this. We'll touch on that as well. So on that note, let's get it popping, man. I Hate the Homies podcast. Ray Duggar, let's go. You done messed up, A.A. Ron. Yeah, huh? I've been geeking for this broadcast. Got me in my bag because all they do is talk a lot of trash. Wait until I see them face to face off of this podcast. What you got to say now? Check the facts. Don't have a wrong stat. Oh. Rock T, he a genius as a sport. Make Ricky smile, boy. Ricky smile. Super Davey Holly come up short on like it's Cowboys. Yeah. Always controversial. Griff call up plays. No rehearsal. Got me talking all in circles. I hate the homies. Uh, and Griff be laughing like it's funny, it's funny, it's funny, it's funny. Psh, But they never bet no money, money the They my mans but they throw me ah, I hate the homies Alright so Since Griff been up under a rock in South Africa I'm not under a rock I'm staying in a giant mansion dog It's beautiful things happening <laughs> No one care about the White Howard over here I've been watching SportsCenter and PTI He's sitting what up 
happen. He's sitting on under some big um uh, elephant's ass right now because he can't find anything. Yeah, that's the ignorance. That's the ignorance that perpetuates you, African American. <laughs> Keep All right. it going, Dave. So, that's awesome. Dwight Howard um, just admitted that he had a threesome with two other men. Now, before this, it was always rumors. allegedly. It was always rumors. It was always rumors about him. Mm-hmm. But he came out and have to. Uh, he had to change his tone on his relationship with this man named Stephen Harper. Yes. Right. Yes. And uh, he denied the accusations at first. Well, Stephen Harper is saying that he's um, he violated him. He's sexually assault. He's calling. A, he's uh, he's he's claiming that he sexually assaulted him. So what? Dwight Howard said was, wait a minute, I didn't sexually assault nobody. I'm not guilty of that. But what he is guilty of, and he admitted, of being with those other two men. And the other man is named Kitty. It's a transgender man that goes by the name of Kitty, dresses up like a woman. So all that came out. Yeah, I'm so I'm so sad that I missed that story all the way in Africa, dog. <laughs> I'm actually sitting here really thinking about turning off all ESPN and everything when I get back home because I missed the Dwight Howard story. That you know we from Atlanta, right? Yeah. Like we, you know, I live there 25 years. Like in two days, it'll be 25 years. Ain't nobody. That ain't nothing new to nobody except people who don't know Atlanta like that. I'm not gonna sit here and. Congratulations, Dwight. Way to come out, kinda. I guess that's the second time he done kinda came out. Yeah, I, I guess kind. You want to say allegedly? I thought it was always. I thought he was always tapping, tap dancing around the allegations. He never. You you heard him kind of come out before and admit. Yeah, I mean he. This ain't the first time. Well, you know what? Let me mind my business. I know I have sex with my wife. <laughs> Definitely do it. Cause mine. in the end, because in the end, dog. Uh, it's it's it sucks that we got to be all no that walking on eggshells talking about these people. But when you meet somebody and the first thing they say is I sleep with a woman or I sleep with a man like nobody else do that. But them, I, I sleep with a woman, but I don't lead with that. Hey, how y'all doing? Welcome to the comedy club. I sleep with a woman like I don't. Hey, nice meeting you. I sleep with a woman. Like it, I, I, I'm not. I don't understand the sense of it all. Like, okay, so what, what, you sleep with a man, you sleep with a woman, you sleep with two men, and one of them named Kitty. <laughs> Are you in the NBA? <laughs> That's the question. But no, they're not. Start, well, this is what overseas right now. This is what Stephen Harper said because he said he they off, he offered up a screenshot as proof of his conversation, including Uh-oh. where Howard asserted. <laughs> He's not gay. Receipts. That's what the lady said. Yes. He got receipts. receipts. Now, Howard said, I want you to know I'm not like gay or anything. I'm just a little nasty sometimes. Can we all the way go to the next story, dog? Oh, oh, I'm not oh, playing oh, with y'all right now, dog. Hey, he's re- hey, I'm not playing with he's y'all, just report- dog. He's reporting the story. No, because this is a story because I think the question for me, and I think I was going to ask you guys this, this past summer, the Golden State Warriors looking. They were looking at signing Dwight Howard. Mm-hmm. He practiced with Draymond Green and Chris Paul, and I was wondering why at that particular time that Golden State wasn't going to push for this guy because what was Golden State needing last year in the playoffs against the Lakers? A big man. Yeah. They were a small team going against the Lakers that had Anthony Davis, who was healthy at the particular time, right, and had a great series against them. Anthony, I mean, a guy like Dwight Howard who calls himself Superman. Two. Maybe we know now why. Well, now, now we know why. <laughs> I was always under the impression he's out there. Why wouldn't you take a shot at bringing this guy in to make your team better? And I think this is the biggest reason why, because it was some no, rumors going around. You can't not hire somebody because they sleep with have a threesome. Well, you it, can't do that. that ain't it's not just that. Why. It's the, the big, part of biggest the, reason he ain't played in a couple seasons and don't nobody know what he's doing. The dude said he was nasty. I'm I'm not mad at him for saying he nasty. Way to be all the way real with it. I'm listen, nasty. Listen, I'm, I'm, real. I, I would sign him to the Golden State Warriors. I, if I'm if I'm an NBA team, because after these allegations, they're not they're no longer allegations. He he said he admitted it. But after this, and listen, ain't nobody I'm gonna want to play defense I'm on. I'm just him. not the White Howard nasty. I got a nasty ceiling. It, I got a it's a levels to nasty. Now that the White Howard <laughs> saying he nasty, I'm probably nasty on a two. <laughs> but you, but, you, but Griff, you got to you got to you got to admit if, if a team signed Dwight Howard right now, 
Thank you. And I know where you're going. <laughs> he may. I don't he know may, where you're going. He may go back to his grace days of tw- dropping 20, 25 points a game when he was with Orlando back in the day because uh, the defense may get a little bit soft on him. <laughs> Ain't nobody going to want to deal him up, You feel good dog. about that, dog. <laughs> Ain't nobody going to want to deal up, dog. The, he brings a new meaning to pounding the board. Look. <laughs> That was a good one, dog. Look, you I like Dwight too. Howard, man, for real. Like right we got a chance to beat sound Dwight. Like we got in like kids, like kids. Three. <laughs> we're not, we're not mature enough to handle a story like How this. How old are y'all? Dog? We're definitely not. Mature oh, now enough. he wants to be the mature one. He's the comedian. <laughs> man, screw you, man. I'm no, not, he kind of. No, don't not, do that. You know Let me what, tell man? You Go ahead, dog. It's a, it's a literal slippery slope with these folk. I'm not. I don't want to be in the reindeer games. I don't want to be in none of them. I'm Let's cool. say, well, let Prancer me say this. Out. Let me say this, and we'll move on to to college football. Uh, kudos to Dwight Howard, man. You know he he was he was man enough to say, "Hey, this I got myself in this situation, and this is what floats my boat, and it is what it is." And as far as him as a person, man, we got a chance to meet him a couple of times. He came on our show. I know him. All that good I stuff. I know him hella good. Funny, he ha- good dude. Listen, really good dude. Him. You know what I'm saying? And Really so good dude. It's and a story that, that we got to talk about it because everybody else talking about it. We got this podcast, and there it is. Now we move on and talk but about the funny, college football. But hold on. The funny part about all this is he was doing all this the year they won the championship in the bubble. And he had he had a pretty good series against Denver oh, yeah. in the bubble. He was playing some pretty good basketball. Just don't use that term bubble while talking about this. <laughs> okay, move on. Since, <laughs> since, since, since Griff don't want to play the games. <laughs> you too. College football, baby. <laughs> We're gonna recap the college football games, upsets, and uh talk about the matchups for this week. And Colorado's back in action. That's next. Hey, the this girl took a picture of of my picks, right? Was was this week did Detroit did Detroit play Green Bay? They got no, their ass beat Detroit by got Baltimore. Blasted by Baltimore. She got the wrong. She she took the wrong. All right, let me see if she's still at home. And then we'll do college football. Yeah, go ahead. We can go through. Our okay. boy's putting up. Keep uh, on, Georgia. Uh, here you we can go. Easily be number one with this defense. <clears throat> go ahead. Hey, yo, what up, man? Rock T up in the building. Listen, the Golden Arches have a lot more than your favorite French fries that we all love so much, man. There are also Golden Opportunities. In partnership with the Thurgood Marshall College Fund, the McDonald's Black and Positively Golden Scholarship Program is dropping $1 million in scholarships for HBCU students every year. That kind of cash helps keep bright minds on the yard. You can get all the details at mcdblackscholars.com. All right, so let's talk college football, man. Of course, we got to start off with uh, Prime Teasy for Sheezy, my kneesy, and the Colorado Buffaloes. They had a bye last week. And, uh, and they lost against the bye. Why are we talking uh, about Colorado right now? There you go. They didn't play last week. There you go. So, and I think that was the greatest thing about college football. And they have to hear this trash by Colorado. They got number 23 UCLA this week. And on my prediction for the schedule, okay. I got UCLA winning this game. I had it at the beginning. This is one of the games that they expect to lose. But I don't know. I don't know. But, but, I mean, they play They play in California, right? It's at, it's at UCLA, right? It's at UCLA. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I, I still got UCLA winning this game, man. But I don't, it's, don't, don't expect a blowout. Don't, but don't, don't go past what, we, what happened last week because I think the greatest game we saw this season so far, I don't know if you guys saw it, the Utah, uh, who was it? Utah, USC game. Yeah, Utah beat USC. Utah, they own USC. You, we, they always been strong. We we've been saying, hey, yeah, they, they, but they uh, own USC them. Always been a little light um, yeah. with Utah. Utah, the last five years, really been uh, not the team to think is an easy win. But Caleb Williams, no touchdowns in that game. I think he finished up with two hundred and fifty yards. But the walk on for Utah. They got their quarterback now, a walk-on. Yeah, he cold. Put some impressive numbers up, and he had three touchdowns in this game. Got him in field goal range for the winning field goal. But now they can say, USC, who's your daddy? Well, if USC is still ranked after this. <laughs> They're 24th. Now, why are they even still ranked? Because they only lost two games. You still got to put them. No, you don't. You I got, understand what you're saying. You still got undefeated but they lost, they lost to ranked teams. You, you still got undefeated teams out there, man, that deserve that spot. 
When you lose two games, you should automatically be out but of the ranking. Uh, what undefeated teams that's that's not in the top twenty five? I'm, I'm not looking in the in the. But uh, I'm saying everybody's good. I'm good. They're on. good right keep, now. Keep talking. Keep They're talking. They're good. Okay, but USC. Did you watch the game? But the one, th- the only thing I didn't like about the game at the end, and you saw the frustration on Caleb Williams because everybody else after the game, when the winning field goal came for Utah, he sat on the bench and just looking in the stars and looking in the clouds because he can't believe this is happening to him. This is the one. It's almost like what Nick Saban did with uh, Bryce Young. You wasted Caleb Williams. You should have a championship with this guy either this year or last year. And they're nowhere close to being that because you have a sorry-ass defense. They can't tackle. Well, he ain't going to be all, everybody go get Caleb B. I agree NFL. with you. That's the other thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, he he making himself look crazy. You see, are falling apart, homie. And it ain't even it ain't you you is it's week eight. And that's the you, one you thing falling Griff, all the way apart. That's the one thing they've been saying the last couple of weeks. He I think the pressure is catching up with him right now because he's not taking the easy route of easy passes what the defense gives you. It started in the Notre Dame game two yeah. weeks ago. He's throwing in the yes, double and triple coverage. That's what he's doing now. Yeah, he's he's so got away from the game. Do, though, Dave. Huh? Guess what he gets to do? Stay in school another year and make some more money. Yeah, because he's that's making he, he on everybody commercial right now. He got hey, some. Oh, money. Yeah, I mean, that's Please. fine. So why don't you stay in school, make you some more bread, and get better over the summer? And yeah. Yeah. right now, dog, you looking average. I think he honestly thought maybe in his own head that it was going to be a runaway Heisman Trophy. I don't think he thought he was going to have competition this year with the Heisman. I agree with you on that. And now that other players are playing better than him, now he's like, oh, man. The I kid out of Washington playing great. Oh, shoot, they had a tough game Michael against Penix. Arizona State. They yeah. had a, but they had a tough game against Arizona, Arizona State. He's still a dog. I mean, he's still a dog. Still but a they dog. won on, the, uh, on a uh, DB picking the ball at the 10-yard line, taking it all the way back. They won 15-7 to against Arizona State. Yeah, so, so even though Washington beat Oregon – for some reason, I think they want people want Bo Nix to win that Heisman this year. For Oregon, yeah, For, yeah, but he, but I think it all play out in the end because you still, you they still got to play USC. They still got to play. They got to play a <laughs> game. <though. laughs> they got a lot of games to play <laughs> agreed, in the Pac-12, agreed. man. Before anybody can say anything, Washington right now is sitting in the perfect spot. They got them at number six in the AP top uh, twenty-five poll, so they're sitting in the perfect spot. And at which one? Because I'm looking at the I'm looking at the college football rankings. Which one? Which one you looking at? Oregon's eight. They got them. Uh, they got no, I'm Washington, talking about Washington. number five. They got them number five. Yeah. Oklahoma six. You right. know what? That's it. Uh, Washington number five. Oklahoma's number six. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking at it now. And then t- what happened with Texas too? Texas they're number seven right now in the in the uh, top twenty five poll. But then they lost their quarterback. They're going to lose him for a few weeks. Against so they're about to fall. Well, not when necessarily. He, I, this is college football, man. Sometimes them backups be better than dog on the starter. They just wait, just wait for their right. shot. And sometimes they don't, Rock. Who's yeah, your backup? The backup they played against <laughs> Houston, he never threw. I think he threw one pass once uh, years got hurt in that game. Now, everybody wants to see Manny. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the young Manny. Cooper? Yeah. Well, it's not Cooper, but. Arch. Uh, Arch. No, not Cooper. He's a watch. Arch. Ain't Arch wide receiver. Yeah, Arch, the grandson. Yeah, they yeah. want to see him play. Yeah. So we'll see what happens in the next few weeks because you won't see years for you, uh, Quinn for the next two or three weeks because of a shoulder injury. And say what you want to say. just shout out James Madison, JMU, for getting in the top 25, 7 and 0. Oh. Yes, see, that's your undefeated team, now. Rock. That's the one you was talking there about. There you go. Okay. There you go. I still just, yeah. a, a, unless there's no more 7 and 0 oh teams that are more mid majors. Mm-hmm. If you got two losses, and that's that's the difference between JMU and they they the they the low low yeah. right now. If they lose the rest of their games, they made it to the top twenty five. But they, that's their victory right and there. Two mid, two <laughs> yep. quick other teams too to look at. We talked about Alabama last week. Alabama make their way and they're in the top ten now. Um, they easing their way up to be in that playoff because it's gonna come down to Georgia and Alabama playing in the SEC championship game, and which one of those teams. Probably be, could be Alabama making their way to the playoffs. Alabama's playing pretty good football. That defense shut out Tennessee in the second half. It was twenty to seven at the half, Tennessee. Yeah, and they never scored again in the second half. I can't say nothing about well, it. Well, like we said, we like how Alabama's playing football right now. They got to win, and they out here winning. 
you know, and it ain't the and it ain't the way. It's the best part about it. it's not the way we used to seeing them dominate. Uh, three running backs, a, a quarterback that's going to win a Heisman, a gang of wide receivers, and, and they just out there playing football. But can school. we talk about the only eight no team in all of college football you with not. the number one defense in the NCAA? Okay. According to this tattoo I just got a couple days ago. I saw that ridiculous. Blue. I, ridiculous. Blue. I, I could cuss right now. I saw that the other day. I was like, man, please. <laughs> hey, Michigan doing their thing, dog. I mean, come on. It's safe. And they the investigation, go, too. Remember that. Here go the side thing, though. Here go the side thing, though, Rock. It's all kind of dissension amongst the ranks with tickets being bought. And how did I don't know what's happening. People getting fired. Like, dog. But to me, Harbaugh, I don't want Harbaugh to leave, dog. I He's don't. leaving. He created something over there. He's leaving. But he, he know like, that. I'm cool. <laughs> like, he don't win something this year, dog. He always can play for his brother. That's it. But you or, know what? Let me just play for my brother and run the defense. And then if I feel like being a head coach in two or three years, I will be. I know Absolutely. you're a Michigan lover. And I had Michigan in the playoffs. I got them at the number two team. At, at the end when we're talking about playing on uh on New Year's Day or playing the day after New Year's, playing for the national championship. I have Michigan playing either Georgia or Alabama. I don't see Michigan beating Georgia either Georgia or one. Alabama going to be tough because if Alabama beat Georgia, like we always know, they only fall a couple spots. But see, um, what but I'm saying, can't be- what I'm saying, I don't believe in Michigan right now. I like their defense. But then uh, I also look at that defense. Who have they played? Come on. Come on now, they're going to be judged when they play Ohio State. That's the team. They're going to beat Ohio State. I'm not so sure of that. They're going to beat Ohio State. I, I'm not. Well, we don't care what you're sure of, dog. They, you don't even have a you know wife what? in real you know life, what? dog. I am sure they they will <laughs> lose. They will lose to Ohio well, State. Here, how about this on episode on episode 74 with a Dallas Cowboy jersey that you ain't even got or a tattoo? <laughs> you ain't no fan. Let's bet a hundred dollars that they they will. Let's let's bet a hundred dollars that they will beat Ohio State Ooh. right now. Come me on, and Super you Dave. Have my money, Super or Dave. Don't. Where you at, Super or Dave? Have my money. Never talk about it again, Dave. I, the, first or, of all, the, let's first make of all, it three hundred dollars. No, let's make it no five hundred dollars. No, oh, where you I, at, Dave? I'm a, oh, I said a hundred dollars. That's what I'm betting. I'm confident. It's the same team that lost to TCU. This is the same team that lost to TCU. The same team that lost to TCU ain't played just, nobody yet. Be, for clarity, for clarity, you're betting me one hundred dollars that Michigan will not beat Ohio State on a Saturday after Thanksgiving. Yes, eleven and okay. the twenty fifth cool. of November. You Mark heard, it on you know, your I want to hear your mouth again because I didn't hear it after they lost to TCU. Actually, I want the same thing. Well, you know what? It was no money on it, and, and according to this tattoo. I got a hundred dollars on my team. I got five hundred dollars that they. Be, I got any Columbus fan you could lose, dog. Go, let's talk about another team. I'm That's not gonna we, waste my. He is you ain't passionate even in the about Ten, this. He's dog. a fool. You ain't even in the Big Ten, dog. Me and you gonna talk a lot next year when y'all start taking them big lumps, big lumps <laughs> in the Big Ten. Talk so about, about Oklahoma. Be cordial. Talk about yeah, Oklahoma. We just It'll gonna be, be an cordial SEC. for now. It'll be an SEC. So oh, you got to get, get the bet. facts oh, down. USC and UCLA. Yeah, get going. the facts right, down. I'm right. not a USC or UCLA Ooh, y'all, fan, y'all okay? Can, y'all both confusing me, man. Let's move on. Can I we, mean, you confuse me. I already <laughs> made the bet. Can we, can we, can we move on eight to? 8-0. No. <laughs> Only 8-0 no team. Let's talk about Michael Irvin, man, calling out his son for playing fake as a rapper. We'll break that down coming up next. Hey, yo, what up, man? Rock T up in the building. Listen, the Golden Arches have a lot more than your favorite French fries that we all love so much, man. There are also Golden Opportunities in partnership with the Thurgood Marshall College Fund. The McDonald's Black and Positively Golden Scholarship Program is dropping $1 million in scholarships for HBCU students every year. That kind of cash helps keep bright minds on the yard. You can get all the details at mcdblackscholars.com. I got a son. He he, he raps. His his rap name is Tut Tarantino. If you ever listen to some of his raps, I'm like, oh, my God. Where does this come from, son? You grew up in a gated community your whole life. But he's rapping my life because we romanticize and fantasize about that old Thug life, ghetto life, and all of that stuff. When, when, when. Yeah, when, when we not about that life. 
Yeah. And I told my middle class kids, these rappers are gonna get y'all shot in the face. Come on, man. You're not a thug. You're not hard. You don't know what welfare is. You don't know what food stamps is. You don't know what going to different schools your whole life is. You don't know about being broke. You don't know about being hungry. You don't know about not having. If you don't pull your pants up and grow up. Yeah, no, it's like, come on. Everybody want to be a thug. Everybody want that street credibility. They want to they appear to be hard. And especially if you, like you say, he knows nothing about thug life, nothing about gang banging, nothing about street when life. When your daddy is Michael Irvin, your daddy, you don't know nothing about nothing. Your daddy except did, green rooms. Your daddy we got green room kids, ladies and gentlemen. Your that's parents, what we got. <laughs> your parents did busted they butt to make sure you don't have to struggle like that and go through all those and have those other negative options in your life. And you still want to come out there. And then you wonder why these doggone young kids that want to get into the game, the rap game, make music, whatever. And they end up getting hurt, getting shot, getting robbed. Everybody want to have the chains and the jewelry all out, man. So it's like, come on, man. Just nothing wrong with wanting to be an aspiring artist. Nothing wrong with making music. But make music that you know relates to you. But it's probably people who's hanging around. Of too. course, nobody want to hear that music. Oh. I'm rich. Tell, tell, tell. I got everything. Tell, I, I how don't he, know how, how to sing because I'm super he different from, uh, rich. Uh, uh, from Morant <laughs> with Memphis. How is he different from that? From that? Uh, from John Morant. Morant. That's the same thing. John same Morant. thing. They were talking about John Morant before he went into this, and yeah. it was like, yeah, John, come on, man, you ain't got to do all that. You, man, you've been blessed with the opportunity to play to make millions and millions of dollars. For the rest of your life, but to take care of your them. family, they want the respect, the street cred. Damn that dog on respect. I man. agree with you. I'm Listen, not arguing. There's nothing wrong with going back to the community, going back to the inner city to do your best to add your positive influence to help those kids make better decisions, so they don't have to pick up a gun and want to gang bang. So they ain't gotta worry about, hey, I want to be this, I want to do that, I want to sell drugs and all that, I want to rob people, I want to steal. Use your influence. To go do that versus, hey, man, I'm going to join you. I'm going to talk about gang banging. I'm going to talk about this. And if you're going to talk about it, talk about why you shouldn't do it. Be like Jay-Z. During his life, well, listen to his albums. When he was in the game, he talked about that stuff. When he got out of the game, he talked about he talked why about he, that stuff. he talked about why it was a mistake. <laughs> but thank God he, he learned how to, you, you know, learn from other people that were smarter in the business and he just kind of took that money from that gang banging and what he did in drug dealing and turned it into business and now he's winning because of it. So it's it's like, come on, man. If you Well, Jay-Z wasn't never banging. He was just a dope dealer. Yeah, but it's all the same thing when you're talking about that gang. Nah. I'm from Cali. It's, gang banging is gang banging. But, <laughs> selling drugs is selling drugs. Yeah, but it's all it's all going to put you in jail or put you in it's the underground. All negative. It's all going to get you shot in it's, the face. It's going to get How you shot that? or put you in the ground <laughs> or in jail. One it, of the you're two. You're absolutely right. You're but absolutely ki- right. But these kids are just different now. They really are. I mean, Michael Irvin said, he said it best. You grew up in, what he said? How, how, how many square feet? 20,000. 20,000 square feet. And you sit up here talking about something you don't even know about. And that's what most of these guys are doing. They're rapping about stuff they don't even know about. You ain't even been in that situation. When we look at Morant, same thing. You're playing basketball in the NBA. And well, you're worried about being that? a street, a, getting street cred when you got all the money in the world to do whatever you want to do. And here's the deal. You can buy cred, dog. You can buy you it. Are the, you the cred plug. <laughs> Give me the paycheck. I, I don't just, need no street cred. I just hate seeing these stories happen because it happens time and time again. Too, dog. You know, even I hate them too because now, what if? So this is what I always tell my kids: if you rob us in your house, if you rob your family, and you rob somebody outside of this house, they're gonna kill you. We they're not gonna be empathetic. They're not going to say, well, he normally, they're going to shoot you in the face. Like, are you kidding me? Like, why is you robbing your family? Like, why would you, you want a gang bang? Are you not getting love at home? Is there not a man leader, alpha male that's in your life talking to you different? Are we not talking about nothing in this house that you got to make your own decisions and your best one is let me go bang? Dog, gone. Hey, man.
Go. Oh. If, if, if I'm, <laughs> it make me mad, dog. Listen, it make me mad. No, it makes me feel like I'm glad we we grew up in a generation we grew up in because this 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 next generation is is awful, man. These kids are like different. we. How can this generation? So your son's a rapper and he's awful. It was Michael Irvin basically just put him on whatever street cred he had. It got snizzed. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, it's, it's it's like this, man. And this is why I love rap. I love rap music. I love hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Because we are hip hop. We dog. are. It we, raised us. You we know? was beatboxing, going to school, doing Lottie Dottie. Yep. We was there when Adidas came out. Thank like you. We, we was there when MTV started and Run DMC was the first hip hop. Like we was, we lived that. Look, and, and, see, and we, and we are grown men and here, successful and, grown men now. But here's the deal. There are, there are rappers that this is their life. This was their life. Like, they were drug dealers. They were gangbangers. I mean, N.W.A. and, and Bone Thugs and Harmony. There, there's gangster rap out there, but they took yeah. the rap lane, and some decided to and say— And changed their lives. Exactly, man. Cash money, no limit, all of them. They, and, they, and they changed their life, and they're going back to help— you know, other younger people. In but literally like Benny, Benny Siegel, even Jay-Z said— he wanted to be in the streets too hard. See murder. I couldn't do nothing with See him. murder with no limit. Yeah, exactly. Master P was trying to tell him, bro, you need to even change your name. <laughs> and, and, you know, he didn't exactly. want to listen to yeah, him. Yeah, that ain't going to help you, homie. <laughs> when you get in See. trouble, that's not going to help you. He said, now you got some money in your pocket. How about we go ahead and ch- take that murder off your name? And now you want to be Now you want to be C helpful. <laughs> right. Come on, man. So, <laughs> hey, it is what it is. So, let, let's get into the NFL before I get more mad. All right, NFL this past week, man, I ain't even looked at mine yet, but I'm sure Super Dave got the – well, let's put Griff on blast real fast because you're supposed to be keeping up. Wait a minute, up. I like man, where you was going with Super Dave. No, I know. <laughs> I, know I know you were. You signed up to keep <laughs> track of have, everybody's You records. have one freaking job to do each and no, every I week. have a bunch no, of No, no, but I'm <laughs> saying the one we gave you on the air, <laughs> the one we gave you on the podcast that everybody know about, which – Take the picks down. Keep track of the records. Keep track of the records. And you ain't got so, them. And you don't have them. Because you you was loving when Rock was coming after me. But now let's take let's, let's turn that table put it on you. Where are the picks, man? So I was going to ask you. Where are the picks? You ain't got them. But I do know. Damn my, my. I, I do know my <laughs> Detroit Lions lost. Well, you getting that damn tattoo of Michigan. And my Raiders lost to Chicago. Horribly. Well, I watched I, that I, game. I know I picked Chicago. Africa. I picked Chicago yeah, I on that one. remember you picked Chicago. I yeah, think me did. and Griff picked the Raiders on that one. And what about Detroit getting their ass beat? Ooh, it was coming. By it was Baltimore. Just, it was coming. I saw your text Sunday. Yeah, I, wasn't, yeah. I wasn't going to bother you with it. I, I, was, I was hoping the it, Patriots? Didn't one of us pick the Patriots? No, nah, nobody picked no Patriots upsetting the Bills. Nobody picked the Patriots. <laughs> you must be out of your mind. I mean, if we had the list, we could actually see it. But, I mean, I guess we're just <laughs> guessing right now. And we'll have to go back to well, the old podcast. I'm not going to sit here and guess with you. The list is, the list is <laughs> on my desk. It's fine. Uh, who we got this week? Okay, let's, let's start on Thursday night. The Buccaneers at the Bills. Bills coming off that tough loss against New England, a game that everybody had on this show had them winning. They lost to the Patriots, but now they got the Bucks at home. I got the Bills. They ain't losing two in a row. I got the Bills. I got the Bills, too. Like it took you that long to think, man. Come on, man. <laughs> I did because uh, the Buccaneers is three and three. The Bills is four and three. Ain't nobody really that sweet. Okay. I mean, you're right on that point, but I'm going to go with the Bills there. <laughs> this, the Dolphins, well, Patriots at the Dolphins. Oh, Dolphins. Even though the Patriots, what, they won two in a row now? That- no, they won one. No, they only won one. <laughs> no. They lost like three in a row. Patriots got two wins. They have two wins this season. They won like the beginning of the season. Okay, okay. <laughs> but they've been losing the last three weeks. I'm still going with the Dolphins. <laughs> uh, this is Everybody at the Dolph- This Miami. is at Miami. Yes, sir. I got the Patriots. Up. Oh. oh well, everybody don't have Miami. The battle. <laughs> okay. The battle in New York. The Jets Hold at on. the Giants. The Griff pick. Yeah. The, who did you pick? Yeah, I, I got, you I got Miami. I got Miami. Okay. He said Miami. The Jets. At the Giants. Jets. Same place, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. MetLife Stadium. Yes. Jets. Right. They do play the stupid game. Who you got? It's on you. Oh, who did you pick? I'm asking you. I didn't hear you. Who did you pick? Giants 2-5, and five, Jets 3-3, three and three, uh, Jets for the win. I'm going with the Jets, too. Uh, the Jaguars at the Steelers. Steelers who come you up. got, Rod? I picked the Jets. Okay, Jets across. Uh, Jacksonville okay. at Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh cut off that big win against uh, the Rams on Sunday. The Jaguars. It's the late game. 
It's the late game. I mean, it's night at former Heinz Field. No, it's a noon. It's a noon game. Oh, it's 7 p.m. for me. <laughs> okay, it's a 1 o'clock game. Okay, yeah, it's 1 o'clock it. game. Uh, Who you got? I got Pittsburgh. Man, what's Pittsburgh record right now? 4-2. Four and two. Four Jacksonville 5-2. and two. Yep. I got Jacksonville, man. Not because of the records, but I just think, uh, yeah, Jacksonville for real. They're going to they be a playoff team. Jacksonville I'm- got the better quarterback. Yeah. Give me Jacksonville. The Falcons at the Good. Titans. The Titans is an interesting team this year. Like, they're not good, but they're not sorry either. It's like. Oh, no, they're I'll, sorry. They I'll make it easy four, for you. I'm going with the Falcons. Yeah, I'm going the Falcons. with the Falcons. Give me Atlanta. <laughs> you can dress it up okay. all you want. I mean, you know. <laughs> you can dress it up. No, they're, they're bad. Hey, Derek Henry may be getting traded yeah. soon. So exactly. Remember I said that. Yes. Okay. Atlanta across the board. Okay. Right. Texans. I'm putting it at, in my phone now so we don't never have this problem again. Texans at the Panthers. Texans. I've been I've been liking I've been liking Houston. The the Panthers ain't gonna get no win. The Panthers ain't gonna get no win. I got I got the Texans. And it's That's not because Houston. of Bryce Young. They have a bad offensive line. The receivers are dropping passes. Defense is okay. Texans are playing better right now. What's Carolina record? Zero and six. Uh, uh, nine six. wins <laughs> against. I think, I think, yeah, they, I, they gonna get one. It's well, it's gonna be this week. It's pick them. It, pick come on, don't think about it. Pick them. I'm going with Carolina this week. They're going to get, get their long win this week and shock everybody. Okay. Who you got, Griff? You said Texans? I got used it. Okay, I got Texans too. Rams at my Cowboys. Rams coming off that tough loss against Pittsburgh. And your boy coming home. Uh, quarterback of the Rams. Stafford. Stafford yeah. coming home. It's going to be nah, like a home game Dallas. to him. Cowboys coming off a of bye week. I got the Cowboys. Cowboys. Cowboys across. Uh, Vikings at Packers. Vikings, Vikings with a big win. Vikings. On, <laughs> what was that, Monday night? No, they finna get hot. They finna turn into the, the Minnesota Vikings that we thought they were. Yeah, but what happened to the 49ers? Hey, Two man. in a row? Vikings finally showed up. They, they just got, yeah, the Vikings showed up. No, I think, Brock you know Purdy started to look Green normal. Bay, dog. Hey, you got Green Bay? Oh, man, Minnesota gonna yep. blow out Green Bay, bro. <laughs> Give me the Vikings, yeah. I got to go with the Vikings. Who is it, Jordan Love for the Packers? Yeah. Yep. No, give me the Vikings. Okay. The Saints at the Colts. Saints. Give me the Colts. Saints at the Colts. Yeah, give me the Colts, too. And you got the Saints, Rock? Yep. The Eagles right. at the Commanders. Oh, Eagles. You know what, dog? <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> Just say it, dog. Give me the Eagles. I ain't waiting. I'm not waiting. He's thinking about it. Have you seen the Have you seen the Commandos play? Yeah, dog. They they coming off. They just won, dog. They're no, they not, just lost. They're not off. They not awful though. It was a. It was a. It was a. It was a. Bomb okay. Washington, dog. Okay. The Browns at the Seahawks. Browns looking good, dog. They blew that dog on game, but they looking good. Ooh. 12 man, Seattle. Give I'm, me pick, Se- I'm picking Cleveland. Give me Seattle. It's in Seattle, so give me Seattle. The Ravens and Cardinals got Kyler Murray back now, but the Ravens at the Cardinals. Ravens, Baltimore. Give me the Ravens. And even though the Ravens look good against Detroit, Ravens won't be judged and Lamar Jackson won't be judged until they do something in the playoffs. So Ravens across the board. Yep. yep. The Chiefs at the Broncos. Chiefs. Yeah, Chiefs. If the if the if the Broncos win, I no, I ain't even. I don't care. I'm what what you gonna do? It. Come on, man! No, man come nothing, on, do it. Nothing. I got the Chiefs. You <laughs> give Super Dave a Dwight Howard kiss. Hey, no, no. Why you why you throwing me in this? Why you ain't throw yourself in this? Why you <laughs> the Broncos me out win. There? Griff got a kiss. Super Dave. No, I, no. How you gonna make a bet for us? <laughs> you go, dog. The Bengals. You know what? If Super Dave want to kiss me, that's what he could do. I'm non-binary. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you scared me earlier when you said, I'm a little nasty too. I'm just saying. The oh, Bengals God, at you. the 49ers. 49ers bounce back. Very Niners. Give me Joe Burrow. If he's healthy, give me the Bengals. I mean, Cincinnati yeah, Bengals. Say that. The Bears at the Chargers. Chargers. Give me the Bears. Um, 
the Bears at the Chargers? Yeah. Rock, you want the Chargers? Yep. I also want the Chargers. He wants the Bears again. And you know what? Um, I know we're going to move on to the next pick, but the last pick. But I think we – well, I'll, I'll say it for me. I've overrated Justin Herbert. I think he's just in that second tier of quarterbacks oh, right that now. Dude, that dude. I agree. Dude I agree. Not, yeah, I, I had him up there. I also agree. I yes. thought he was something. I think wow. it's I think it's uh it's Patrick Mahomes first tier. Uh, Joe, Joe Barrow if he's healthy. Joe, Joe Barrow. Still. Josh Allen. No, not Josh Allen. He's in that second tier. Nah. Second tier for me. I think Jalen Hurts ends that. He's right on the border, but Jalen Hurts is that. He on the cusp. He on the cusp. (laughs) But he's right there first tier. After that, everybody else is the same. Josh, Josh, the guy you're talking about, he'll throw two or three interceptions. He'll throw you out of a football game. It's Patrick Mahomes and then not Patrick Mahomes. I I agree, but I think Joe Barrow's right there if he's healthy. I still got Josh in that in that in that in that top tier. Okay, and this is the fun one because between y'all two, between you two teams, uh, the Raiders and the Lions. Oh man, you ain't even got Raiders know. at the Lions. <laughs> we finna blow. We finna. We finna take this frustration out on the Raiders. It's not even gonna be close. Come on, talk that noise. Come on. It ain't gonna Come be on, close. And you know I'm it. A, I'm gonna say it like this. <laughs> I'm gonna say it like this. No, be the same confidence you were with Michigan. Detroit is gonna lose. How about that? The autumn wind is a Raider. I ain't gonna bet. I ain't gonna. I ain't gotta bet him, Super Day, just because you gonna lose some money in November. I'm I confident. Like, I'm, I'm fine. Detroit. Detroit for never. But, a, so, but I'm picking the Raiders. But I don't care. See, I don't care about who they are, dog. But look, 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 Rock. He's not as confident in his Raiders as he was in Michigan, right? Michigan, he was a, passionate. A, he was passionate. All, oh, here we go. First of all, eight no and two and something is a big difference, dog. I, I know, I, I know where my my loyalty. You don't worry about me, dog. You get a baby star anywhere on your body, dog. You can get a dot well, I gotta and be say a baby. this is a real star. This is how it looked from Earth. I don't care what you do, but until then, you get you and Dwight could go on vacation, dog. How about that? Why? 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 Now you're coming around. You're the comedian in this yeah. thing. Now you're coming around. At the end of the show, you're coming Keep around. On. <laughs> Keep on. I thought you go. I thought you had a whole bunch of uh, Dwight Howard shoulder, big shoulder jokes or something. Yeah, I thought go. he had uh, something. Man. We, we said the story was ready for him. It was... I like to be uncanceled. That's what I like. That's what I like. You shouldn't like, be afraid. You're a comedian. Like, it's a podcast. I like staying right in the sweet spot. Dave know where it's at. I see. Why like, you got to keep throwing me in there? Sweet spot like Kitty and Dwight. That's all he got. He ain't gonna say views nothing else. And opinions <laughs> of Rock T and See, look at him. Are not the Man, views and opinions <laughs> of Urban One Podcast, Reach Media, and Arlen Dwayne. Hey, yo, what up, man? Rock T up in the building. Listen, the Golden Arches have a lot more than your favorite French fries that we all love so much, man. There are also Golden Opportunities in partnership with the Thurgood Marshall College Fund. The McDonald's Black and Positively Golden Scholarship Program is dropping $1 million in scholarships for HBCU students every year. That kind of cash helps keep bright minds on the yard. You can get all the details at mcdblackscholars.com. Why don't more infant formula companies use organic, grass-fed whole milk instead of skim? Why don't more infant formula companies use the latest breast milk science? Why don't more infant formula companies run their own clinical trials? Why don't more infant formula companies use more of the proteins found in breast milk? Why don't more infant formula companies have their own factories instead of outsourcing their manufacturing? We wondered the same thing. So we made Byheart a better formula for formula. Learn more at byheart.com. Quickly, let's get to the NBA. Right. NBA season kicked off on Tuesday night. I don't know if you guys watched. It was the Denver Nuggets against the uh, the Lakers. The Denver Nuggets got their rings. Rings are nice too. You can pull. You They're can pull. Beautiful. Yeah, you, you see where you can pull it. Kind of a pull the uh, make it tight. The bottom part out of the ring, and it becomes like the the banner. Oh yeah, that was dope. That was. It's dope. nice. That is a nice ring. But they knocked off the Lakers, and then you had uh, Golden State. Chris Paul made his debut with the Golden State Warriors, and they lost to his former team, the Phoenix Suns. Phoenix look good. For now. I mean, for that first game, I know it's early, but they look pretty good. I mean, I ain't going to lie. 
And they put Chris Paul in the starting lineup. You see that? Huh? Yeah, I like that. I, I think you'll change up in Draymond Green when he was out this past game. Right. So we'll find out later on. They got different lineups they can do with CP3 there. So they'll be fine. Uh, you look at the big contract signed a couple of days ago with Giannis. Mm-hmm. Three years, $186 million. And they got, they got your boy, the Dame Lillard over there. So he's uh, he's already no. signed for three years. Yeah, absolutely. So they're going to play together for at least three years. So then, I ain't trying to skip the NBA because it was only two games. But did y'all, did the Rangers and the Diamondbacks get to is going to the World Series? Come on, we're gonna dog. get to it, but quickly. Who you got? Western Eastern Conference. It's too early. Oh uh, my Rangers? God! Don't do no. that. Too early for Make me. Make a pick, it's man. One more Too early. games left. Too early for you. Know what? I'm done because y'all early. don't know how to make a damn pick. Everybody else can make a pick. Y'all can't make a pick. Too early. Do your make research, a pick then, Dave. Who you got? I got Boston, and I got Denver. I won't go to State so okay. bad, but I don't think they're big enough. There go there go Super Day's picks. Yeah. And, um, Stay tuned. We'll put ours pre-season. on their way. <laughs> right. Yeah, first of all, they preseason. It's regular season. Hey, man, when did on, we do man. the NFL? Uh, two teams played y'all, yesterday. Y'all know, down, y'all know anything about a sports, da- a sports show. Slow down. Everybody does damn it's picks fine. before the season starts. And y'all the only two idiots that don't do it. That's why they call me the sports genius. You two idiots don't know nothing. Oh, my nothing. God. I don't do nothing y'all like don't. everybody else. All right, y'all don't. Get Son. to the Rangers. Get to the Rangers. And I'm Let's go, Texas that. Rangers. I was, at the, I was at game five. And that's why they lost. When they oh, lost. Did you go? Yeah. Yeah, you I was there, man. Picture. He jinxed them. Oh, man. Me and my son was there <laughs> having the best of times. And I'm like, golly. But I'll tell hey, you something about the this. Hey, but the way they was forced to game seven, they put 11 on them boys, Come dog. on, bro. That ain't. The most no. Texas Rangers going they world champions, bro. The most impressive thing about the Rangers, the ups and downs of this of this long season, 162 games. They would win 10, lose 8, l- lose 4, win 1. I mean it was a, a season of roller coasters. <laughs> but the bottom line was in the end they, they got it they together. Won they they didn't win the division. They, forced, they yep. went from Seattle the last game of the season, had to fly all the way to Tampa to play Tampa and they never lost a road game. Yeah, from that point on, they was on. They was they was they won their first seven games. Yes, in the playoffs, they beat a tough well, Baltimore shout out team. To the Arizona Diamondbacks. These were Arizona and Texas were in a wild card. They yeah. was wild card teams. The, nobody even they wasn't on nobody's map. Two wild card teams, and two years ago, both teams lost over hundred games. I love it. I love it, man. This is gonna I love be great. it too. Me and too. I gotta say, Me for too, the first but I'm time, a Ranger fan, dog. All season Whatever. long, my wife couldn't believe it. I oh, know y'all gonna go somewhere with that, but on the other night, I sat there and watched the entire game seven between Texas and and the Houston Astros. Yes, sir. And I loved it. Yes, sir. I yeah, love baseball, playoff baseball, playoff. It's a not difference. Regular it's, season. It's, it's a it's a whole different animal. Yeah, whole different. And I'm a baseball animal. guy, it, and I like Dusty animal. Baker, man, but. Yeah, you root for Dusty. He one of the greatest of all time. But them Rangers, hey, uh, Bochi is is is. I like Bruce that, Bochi. That's a legend right there. Three a legend. War series. Uh, was sixty eight years old. They got him off the couch because he was go- he's going to the Hall of Fame. You sure, period. You sure he ain't in the seventies yet? No, he's sixty eight. Sixty eight. Okay. Dusty was in the seventies. Right there, you go. And they say this might be the end for Dusty. Which is it's, he should he should ride off into the into the to the sunset. But how can a team? I know we got to go. How can a team go forty and forty six? At home, the Houston Astros, defending Major League Baseball champion, mm-hmm. had a bad record at home. Yeah. And you couldn't put it together. And the Rangers, Rangers had confidence of going to Absolutely. Minute Maid Ballpark and winning there. Yep. We're talking baseball. I can't believe it. Say, dog, you better recognize that sport. So it is what it is, man. I recognize you got them a game five loss because hey, y'all were there. I take that. If, it's, if they, I'll, I'll exchange that game five loss for going to the freaking <laughs> World Series. Boom! There you go, Pippen! Who you got in the World Series? It's too early to make a pick. The Rangers. Okay. The Rangers. We're going Rangers all the way, baby. And they may get it in five. No, don't say may. Give me a give me a prediction. They may get it in five games. I just told you. No, you said may. Okay. I don't want the may. Okay. Just say they're going to get it in five. They'll win it in five. They'll go six. Okay. They'll win it in six. We'll see. <laughs> You so petty, dog. I Please am, because y'all can't make a freaking dog. prediction. You, so you know petty, what? Just dog. move on. Let's go, man. Let's go. There, there you I'm go. Still I sick hate the homies. Y'all. Uh, Rock Teasy's who I be. Deuces. This is your boy Griff, and I hate the homies, especially the small one. <laughs> that would be Super Dave. Still and don't this, know why he called himself Super. And this is, I make You I know make him and Dwight Howard call himself Superman, too. <laughs> First of all, I didn't say Superman. 
<laughs> Super Dave is a difference. Oh, Super man. anything. <laughs> Mr. Howard, close out the show. And this is your boy, Super Dave. <laughs> Michigan, just remember, y'all lost to TCU. Oh, and you're going to lose yep, to Ohio State. Yep. Live in the past, die in the past. Yep. We're going to find out. There right? We are. And I want my $100 on, I want mine. on when we do the podcast. Cash out I want me, you baby. to send it while we talking. I don't want it from Africa. Right? Cash out I want me. you to send it while we talking. Same thing. There Look it is. It. Deuces. That on my nerves. <laughs> Stupid little fella. Bye. <laughs> ah, I hate the homies. <laughs> <laughs>